This is DYU D3F, a compact e-bike that costs about 500 euros, it is foldable, compact and lightweight, it fits into the trunk of your car, it is really fun to ride, and it can go up to 60 kilometers or 37 miles on a single charge. Let's take a look at the key features of this mini e-bike so you can decide if it is right for you. First of all, I'm glad that the bike arrived without any damage because it was safely packed. Inside the box, you get the bike itself and a few parts that have to be assembled. A rear mudguard, a taillight, pedals, and a seat post. It takes just a few minutes to assemble these parts and you're ready to go. The D3F is made of strong aluminum alloy and the overall build quality is really good. The bike has 14-inch wheels, it feels sturdy, and the arched frame gives a little bit of a unique look. I also like a high-quality paint finish. The design highlight, the bike weighs just 18 kilograms or 40 pounds, and it takes just a few moments to fold and unfold it, and you can even carry it with one hand. Honestly, I'm very impressed by such a low weight considering a respectable sized 10 amps built-in battery that I'll talk about in detail in just a bit. Also, the overall footprint of the bike is very small, especially when you fold it. That means that it won't take too much space in your garage or at home, and it easily fits into the car's trunk. Even though the bike is compact, it fits riders ranging from 5 to 6 feet or from 152 to 183 centimeters. The maximum load is 120 kilograms. That means that it fits most adults and even kids. For reference, my height is about 170 centimeters. The bike is IP54 waterproof, meaning that you can ride it in the rain without any concerns. The D3F has a 250 watts rear hub motor that has a peak power output of 550 watts, and it also has 10 nanometers of torque. The electric power can be unleashed in two ways, by pedaling and the motor kicks in automatically, or if you're lazy like me, you can go full electric. You can simply twist the throttle and don't pedal at all. You can adjust the height of the saddle to your liking. I found it to be comfortable to sit on the saddle for longer periods of time because there is a thick sponge built into it, which is nice and soft and it works as a pretty good shock absorption. It absorbs bumps and shakes even if you're riding on an uneven terrain. The front light can be turned on or off using the bike's controller, whereas the taillight has to be turned on manually with a button. You can choose between solid and blinking light modes. I like that the front light is pretty bright and it is integrated into the frame, which illuminates what's in front of the bike, no matter if you turn the handlebar to either side. In order to start riding the bike, you need to turn it on by simply pressing the power key. The LED indicator lights on the right show the amount of juice left in the battery. Underneath it, there is a cruise control key. The D3F uses a good old mechanical ringer, which may not be the loudest out there, but it gets the job done. The overall riding experience is really good despite the small size of the bike. The bike feels stable and smooth and the rear hub motor does not make any noise. There are a few ways to ride the bike. You can either pedal manually and the smart DTST system will assist you or you can go full electric and ride the bike by simply twisting the throttle. The DTST uses AI algorithms to detect how much pressure you use with your feet so it can assist accordingly. That is pretty smart, especially if you want to move your legs a little bit when you're going to work, but you don't want to get sweaty. The maximum speed is 25 km per hour, which is the legal limit in the EU and the UK. That is plenty fast for the bike this compact. Obviously, you can achieve higher speed if you pedal manually or you go downhill, but I suggest you abiding the law for your own safety. The brakes are highly effective out of the box, meaning that I didn't need to make any adjustments. I didn't measure the exact braking distance, but I always felt confident that the bike would stop fast when needed. There is no suspension neither on the front or back, but the saddle absorbs most of the bumps quite effectively. One of the key features, automatic cruise control, meaning that you don't need to hold the handle all the time. The cruise control kicks in at about 20 km per hour. Hit the brakes once and the cruise control turns itself off automatically. I could get about 45 km of range on a single charge, which is less than the official maximum range claim, but I use the bike in twist throttle mode quite a bit, so I think this is a pretty good result. The charging time is about 4 hours with a supply charger and the 10 amps battery is integrated into the frame. 
Overall, the DYU D3F is a really nice compact e-bike. I love how small and light it is, it is easy to fold and transport from one place to another, the bike is comfortable to ride on, and the battery life is pretty good. The D3F costs about 520 euros in Europe at the moment, but the prices vary, so check out the video description for all the information if you're interested. All things considered, the DYU D3F offers excellent value for the price. If you are in the market for a high-quality compact e-bike, you should definitely check this one out. What do you think about this e-bike? Would you buy this one or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.